Hi, thanks for dropping by. The first video I made in 2021 was about artificial intelligence and machine learning using the plugin in 3D Slicer. And I thought, well, at the beginning of 2022, let's do the same thing. I had a class a couple of weeks ago, a bioimaging a class of bioimaging students, and we were looking at the trainable Weka segmentation plugin. And I thought that might make a good uh, video. So have you thought about trying to use machine learning to segment some of your images? Have you tried the Weka segmentation plugin in Fiji? It's fast, it's furious, it's quite good fun. Let's have a look at it. Okay, hi, so uh, we're running Fiji rather than MHJ. And I've got here a whole folder of images of blood vessel and nuclei, smooth muscle cells and various other different types of cells. Let's just pick one of these images here. This one here, okay. All right, so what we've got here is some nice nuclei objects that we, we want to segment. We want to train an algorithm to segment these objects, to recognize these objects in that folder of other images. So we'll go to our plugins, we will come down to segmentation, and we're going to use the trainable Weka segmentation. And as you see, it pops the window into the trainable segmentation window. Now at the moment, it allows us to identify two classes of objects in the image. We could go to the settings uh, where we could create a new class if we wanted three classes. Well, we'll just keep two. Um, we'll call class one the nuclei and we'll call class two the background. So our trained algorithm will allow us to identify nuclei and background. Uh, do we need the log? Yeah, we'll keep it to the side for the moment. All right, one thing that might be useful is a digitizing pen and a digitizing tablet. Um, I will begin by just outlining a nucleus. So check up here in the, the tool that you want. You could use a, an elliptical tool or a square tool just to outline your object, but I will just um, try and outline this object. Okay, that's a nuclei, so I'll add it to the nuclei. Let's do another nuclei here. Now you want maybe four or five objects of each type. And for the background, you maybe just want to have, so I didn't do that one very well. The better you can do this uh, tracing Probably the better your trained algorithm will be. Okay, I've got four nuclei. Let me just do, well, let's do this big guy down here. Okay, so I've got four nuclei. Let me now identify some areas of background. So all of this is background. Uh, all of this is background, although actually it's cellular, sort of cytoplasm, but those intensities I would prefer to have identified as background. Maybe these quite bright areas will have as background as well. One more area of background, let's, let's go with that. Okay, so I have identified five different nuclei as one label, four areas of background. Let's train this classifier. And it takes not long actually, a few seconds. Eventually we'll see something happening up here. Okay, now it's done a fairly good job. It's identified all of these red objects as nuclei and all, everything that's green here you see as background. 
Now we could further enhance this. Let's um, oh, we can toggle between them two. So here's our image, and here's our segmentation. So remember, red or nuclei, green is the background. It's done a pretty good job. I think you might agree. Um, probably would want to maybe call that bit there background and I think maybe this nuclei here we'll call that background let's look and see if there's any two nuclei that are touching yeah there so let me just draw a line between these two so that it knows there's background in there oh yeah a line between these two because that's two that are touching call that background um, yeah, these two here. That's background. Let me train this again. See how we go. And you would just go through this iterative process until such time as you are happy with the result. Okay, let's let's save that classifier. Uh, I'm going to give it a name. Um, I'll save it in my Fiji app. Uh, yeah, let's just save it in there actually. I'm just going to call this uh, nuclear classifier. Okay, we've saved it. Um, let's look at the result. So if we create a result, that's our segmented result. If we create a probability image, what it will show us, it will give us an indication of how, how well it thinks it's performed. There are two channels here, one for the nuclei, one for the background. If you run the mouse over the probability image for the nuclei, you'll see that when it hits a nucleus, if you look at the values up here, the probability of one means it's pretty certain it's a nucleus. Of course, on the background, it doesn't think it's a nucleus, so it's a value of zero here. Where it's 0.3, well, it's not certain if that's a nucleus or background, but it's probably tending towards background than nucleus. And same thing for the, the probability map here. If you run the mouse over the background, you'll see the value up here is close to one, meaning it's fairly confident. And here, the nucleus has a very low value of 0.12, because it's not confident that that's background. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we've got our probability, we've got our result, but we want to apply this classifier that we've trained to a new image. So let's quit all this. Uh, we were on image 14, so we're not going to use that one again. Let me get uh, another, so that was 14. Well, let's try image 13. Okay, so we've got image 13. And we will, uh, let's just get rid of the log for the moment. We'll go to segmentation, trainable Weka segmentation. And there we are. We can load a classifier. And there's our nuclear classifier model. Let's open that. And let's just create the result. comes. There you go. Well, it's not too bad as a first uh, first go. Maybe the nuclei are a little bit big, a bit bigger than I had hoped for. Uh, let's try though uh, an image in which the nuclei are going in the opposite directions. Uh, let's see which one we we'll go for. Maybe this one here. Yeah, okay, it's a nice image. So the objects are roughly the same shape, but they are going in the opposite direction. Will our trained algorithm be good enough to detect them? Load the classifier. There we go. I'll wait until and then we'll create the result.
and watch up here for progress. I won't speed up any of this video, so it'll give you an idea of the, the speed. There you go, not too bad. Yeah, you can see it's, it's fused these two together, but anyway, not too bad, eh? So that's a very quick and easy way to train a, a machine learning algorithm. You can spend more time going through the iterations, but I think what's nice about trainable Weka segmentation is that it gives you the basics of what are, what is required to train an algorithm. Load an image, tell the segmentation algorithm what what's a nucleus, what's a background, save it and run it on a new image. Okay, I hope that was useful and I'll catch you next time.